The quantum shoulder positioner mounts to the table from its storage rack by means of two quick release pins. The power assist on the table is then used to disengage the positioner from its rack. No manual lifting is required. The patient is brought into the operating room in such a fashion that the lumbosacral junction lines up with the gap between the positioner and the table. It is important that the patient is positioned high enough on the table to allow the lumbar support to engage the lumbar spine. The head control assembly then floats superiorly to meet the neck. The well arm may be positioned by means of polyaxial adjustments on the well arm holder. Note that the well arm holder secures to the positioner. The lateral pads may be adjusted at this time as well. The patient's legs are secured in the leg holder, which is available in two sizes depending on patient anatomy. The power assist is used to raise the patient into the sitting position. Note that the head assembly floats to meet the patient's natural anatomy. Neutral cervical spine alignment can be achieved by multiple adjustment points with the occipital pad, the cervical pads, and the AP adjust. Once desirable position is obtained, the halo is used to secure the head, leaving the endotracheal tube freely accessed. The lateral adjustment pads are important to control the patient's center of mass to allow free anatomical positioning of the cervical spine.